We are live. Hello there. Whether you are live or on the replay, thank you for joining me. We are going to go through the updated birds unit from the good and the beautiful. We'll cover the course book, hop into the student journals before hitting the book pack, the reader for the older children, and then the recommended resource that they have. If we haven't met yet, hi there. I'm Elaine from On the Same Page Together. We are a Christ-centered home of learning, and on this channel, we talk about all things family. We like to share what works for us as we strive to encourage you on your journey in life and family. All right, we have 14 lessons here, and if at any point you need me to speed up or slow down, there's a little settings button in the right-hand corner that you can click on to adjust the speed to what fits your needs. These supply lists, I like to remind you guys to check the lesson. If it's a supply you don't have, check the lesson for what activity it's going into and make sure it's one that you want to do with your kiddos before you go out and buy it. Vocabulary words. We do not have a science wall. I like to put these, I don't put them anywhere actually, sorry, adjusting the camera here. I put a little flag on the word that is the last word we've covered for the lesson so far. And then we just review them each time we add more words. That's, that's how we like to do it. I like keeping everything in as much as possible in the book. So getting into the lessons, you have watch an online video. I like that they put a little note for when they're in their student journals. I have the little cards here. They show the children the page titled tips for bird identification, and that's probably going to be this one right here, so that is helpful. Here's where it shows you that it's a hands-on activity, so you can look for these icons, and they might tell you here what the supplies are for, so that you can see if that's something that you want to pick up. All right, we're just going to keep going and look at every page. One thing I want to point out as well here is that this is the answer key for the pages in the student journal. It looks like this is probably the same in both journals, and so you have the one answer key. But they should have the answer key for both when it, that applies. There you go. Answer key, let's see, lesson eight. It does not exactly say, like it doesn't separate them older versus younger, but you can just look at your book and compare. However, these are different pages. So I wonder, I'm interested to see how similar these are going to be in the journals when we get to them in a moment. Migration game. All right, there's the course book. Let's take a look at the student journals. Now, a heads up on this, this might get a little bit awkward. You'll have to bear with me on that. But the reason for that is because I really want to show you them side by side. 
so that if you are considering one or the other, you'll hopefully get a better idea of what you're looking for based on your kiddos needs. Um, one thing to note is on the grade seven through eight, they have the lesson extensions built in. And that is something that for my family, I really like to do all together. So we buy this one every time anyway, whether my kids need it or not because of that. So let's see, we'll move this over. We've got, let's see the differences here. Maybe they need to number it while listening to your parent or teacher read the clues in lesson one, write the correct country number in the white circle. So while listening to your parent or teacher, draw a line between. So they're drawing a line from the country to the bubble. This one, they're writing the number. So same activity, little more help on that one. This looks like that's lesson three. So let's take a look over here. Here's that first lesson extension. Lesson extension for number two. And then getting in to number three. Lesson three. That looks exactly the same to me. And then we have those same parts. So that's the same. So I've had a few people comment on videos looking to see if they can make just this journal work for younger kiddos because they like the idea of doing these as a family, just as another lesson or as part of their lesson. And that was, so that's what I'm trying to point out for you is if it is similar enough that you could get away with just doing one journal, especially if you only have one kiddo. If you have a bunch of younger ones and then like one older one, you could just, you know, Take a copy of that page if you need it. That looks exactly the same. Here's that page that we saw in the answer key of in here. And I only see it in the younger one. So that would be why it was not labeled. But also, that's an activity that you would not get if you only got this one. So it would be something to consider in your choices. Well, actually, this is lesson five. Just kidding. Hold on. Lesson five extension. There we go. There we go. It's in both. So same thing, same answer key. I should probably go this way first. Huh? Lesson extension, egg development. All right. How do you measure up? Looks exactly the same to me. And how do birds defend their territory? My birds of prey booklet. I'm going to guess that that's going to be the same. So this was the answer key that we saw as well. And it was just filling in the booklet. And they are exactly the same. So they did not need to differentiate the level in the course book. Nature and their virtues. And then we have the cards. They're the same. Marine and birch. Oh, this is different. Sorting has the cards, and this has name labels. So that will explain it in the lesson, it looks like. All right. Lesson extension. And then we have... The oh, size of a penguin, those are the same. Map of parrots, but we need to go past this. Kiwi bird, that's exactly the same. A bingo. Oh, that's an extension. And then the bingo. Multiple bingo cards, okay. And then we have, let's see, less extension there. And bird watching 
notebook. This is your bird list. And then, let's see, I don't know if you can see that other page. Um, those are the same. These two are exactly the same. So those are the same. We just have a few of the same pages to do some bird watching with. All right. Hopefully that was not too awkward for you guys. I wanted to give you a side-by-side -side comparison of those. Let me see if I can find my camera. There we go. Let's look at the book pack. So the book pack comes with Songbird Study and Mission Migration. So we're going to quickly look through these so you get an idea of what you're going to get. This looks like a story. Okay, and then Songbird Study. If you have any questions, feel free to ask him throughout, but I will also do a Q&A at the end for you. Always feel free to drop those down in the comments. So this looks like it gives you a little bit about different types of birds. These kind I like to do like a page at a time and then just kind of ponder whenever then it over time and then come back and do another one. So this one I do over many days. I'll either do it with like a lesson. Really when I fit in our reading, our read alouds is during our bedtime stories. I will do a portion of a read aloud for our educational purposes and then a bit of a novel. So I, that's when I fit it in, but you know, you can fit it in at breakfast while they're doing the student journal, whatever works for your family to be able to enjoy these beautiful books. All right, so if we take a look at this one, this is going to be a chapter book that was recommended for that as grade seven through eight. I would probably do this as a read aloud, um, but if I have a kiddo who's interested in just checking it out, assuming it's their level, at least within their level, then I will let them read it on their own. So seven, if I have a kiddo who's at least up there, at least that far. Now this one is not one that's necessarily like in a book pack or whatever. However, I believe it, it is, I just saw it mentioned in here, down here, nature reader. Then there's, there's a game and a bird watching notebook. This is one that was actually given to us by a friend. And these two, I didn't feel like they were necessarily going to be something we would use. So given that it's correlated learning, I did not pick those up. But let's take a look at this. We have, oh, it's a very stiff book. Let's see. Barn Swallow, Bob White, and a Downy Woodpecker. And then it's just going to go ahead, Barn Swallow, and tell you, oh, first sight, flying practice. So it's maybe going through a life cycle. Some extra details about them. Long journey south, winter home, long journey north, so a migrating bird. New home in a barn. Building a nest. So probably finding a mate. Yep, doing the things with the babies. All that, the end. And then a Bob White. From Oh, there you go. From egg to chick to egg. So it's just kind of like the life cycle of each of these birds. This one has a ribbon bookmark as well. Coming up. Oh, so but this one you get some of the egg development going in there. So this could be a fun one to read after your egg, the lesson that talks about egg development. Mm. Circle of life topics there. And the end there, some downy woodpecker. And we're going to get snow time. 
Sorry, these pages are stiff, which is not a bad thing. It's just hard when doing a flip through. All right, hopefully that gives you enough of an idea. Here's some other, mm, there's one about birds, but these other ones are just other recommendations. All right, so if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments box. I actually am gonna be hopping off and then hopping right back on as soon as I can to cover the updated ecosystems unit from the good and the beautiful. So I will have that linked in the description of this video as soon as it's ready to be linked. I also have done every unit so far up to this point um, that they have released with the student journals in it, this new style. I have all of those in flip throughs for you, just like this page by page maybe a little more smoother than this one was, but I have that playlist linked in the description box for you if you're interested in that. I also have some math levels coming up later this evening if you want to check out some Simply Good and Beautiful math in those. I have um, a few levels already on my channel and I'm going to fill in the gaps tonight. All right, so I hope you are having a great day. I'm always honored to be able to help you out in any way that I can on your homeschooling journey. Have a great one and I'll see you in a few.